Joins me now for updates on this development. Sifan, what do we ascribe to this um, break in protest? Is it tightened security or a situation of withdrawing to restrategize? Well, it's um, one of those two, um, but we would like to believe it's um, the fact that uh, the police, ever since the last violent um, clash, has been on the trail of members of the Islamic movement. Um, the, you know, we heard that they followed them as far as Suleja and other parts of the city, you know, making several arrests. So that has put them on the run. And we gather that initially they were scheduled for another protest today. Perhaps um, the ac action of the security forces may have caused them to back down. And um, then they were also had later on that they were going to address um, a news conference, but they as well backed down on that. But security, we can confirm, has been tightened in the metropolis of Abuja. What more updates do we have on the Monday attack? We had the Southwest coordinator of the IMM on the news last night, and he debunked the fact that they came to the protest ground with lethal weapons. He categorically mentioned that the uh, DCP would have been shot by a straight bullet from the police. Do you have any more updates as regards to investigation in that regard? Well, investigation is on the way to uh, determine exactly circumstances um, by which or during which the DCP was killed and whose bullet actually brought him down. That forensic analysis will actually determine that. And um, if, uh, you know, the protesting, protesting shites were armed um, we, we, we believe that in days to come information as to what exactly happened would be unearthed and we'll get to know um, in details whose bullet brought down the deputy commissioner of police as well as other persons killed during the on pass we know that the IGP, the Inspector General of Police, met with the president aftermath of that attack. There's also been calls to uh, talk about this issue and uh, seek for more diplomatic ways. What structures are on ground on the part of the police to ensure that this issue uh, or these deadly attacks are not repeated? Well, basically, from what we've discovered, uh, the police have increased their deployments apart from uniformed police operatives who also had plain clothes, you know, dressed in mufti. Police operatives deployed across the city to ensure that before, you know, um, members of this group come out, um, action would be taken. That is what we know of the police. But from experts have said that the situation goes beyond just a crackdown. A political solution should be, should be sought by the federal government in ensuring that, you know, they come to an understanding or a truce with members of the Islamic movement of Nigeria. Well, we'll look forward to that solution, Sifan, and may the peace in Abuja continue. Uh, thank you for talking to us tonight.